Welcome to Hawaii Day Two. Good morning from the balcony of our garden view room. This view never gets tiring. Welcome back to the channel. It is Hawaii day two and check out the beautiful view from our room. I just can't get enough of it. So pretty. I was out here this morning actually editing some videos, but we are headed over to Kawaloa Ranch and our friends over at Very Nico kindly sponsored us. We are wearing our Jurassic World outfits. Jesse also got a Jurassic World outfit. Do you want to do a spin? Oh dang, yes. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, Jesse also got a uh, bucket hat, which is really fun. And then I have just a white t-shirt. And then here's the back of it. Mm -hmm. Jurassic World logo. And then check out these sneakers. So these are the Jurassic World sneakers. How cool are those? And then check out the inside. There's like little leaves on the inside as well. Whoa. We'll link Very Nico down below, but we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and we're gonna go to Kaloa Ranch. So let's get out of here. We're ready for some Jurassic Park fun. <laughs> we're like fully sponsored. I feel like we're like a UFC. Like Wayne's World. Like Wayne's <laughs> like World. Look who is out meeting this morning. Nikki and Minnie in their Hawaiian garb. Unfortunately, we don't have time to say hello. Oh my gosh. And we also have Donald and Daisy out there saying hello to everybody. Too bad I'm going to that ranch and I don't have time to meet any of the characters. I'm going to the ranch where Jurassic Park was actually filmed. Yeah. That's why we have one Right. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure I actually said anything about that, but yeah, Jurassic World was filmed there, Jurassic Park was filmed there. Also, a childhood favorite of mine, George of the Jungle, which I knew immediately. I fell in love with, who didn't fall in love with Brendan Fraser in that movie? If you haven't seen that movie, I will insert a picture as to why. <laughs> why it's so important to watch the film. <laughs> I had to start the trip out right. With a little get jiggy with it from Will Smith. <laughs> He used to sing it on karaoke a lot, so I know all the words to it. <laughs> Jesse was an air... What, can you show us an air DJ? Yeah, it's like this. <laughs> With a little hand? Yes. I need to have my... So I can hold my headphones on the other side, but I'm holding the camera. Right. A good vibe. <laughs> Very serious. <laughs> We're headed to Dunkin' Donuts because when in America... The donuts. Gotta go to... Gotta go to American Runs on Dunkin', except for Alaska, because apparently Alaska's not part of America, Dunkin' Donuts. That's right. Good lord. <laughs> Okay. We made a little quick redirect to go to Dunkin' Donuts because it was not a full service Dunkin' Donuts. It just had a little coffee stand. Yeah, it was like a it was like a gas station that had Dunkin' Donuts coffee, and it's like listed as a Dunkin' Donuts on Google Maps. So we're hoping for better luck. Careful about that. Well, I looked at the map this time, and it actually had a picture of a Dunkin' Donuts. We'll see. So, uh, fingers crossed. If not, we're gonna have to give up. <laughs> yeah, we're running short on time. We're running short on time, but the so the highway. Everyone is going like 20 miles under the speed limit. Yeah, it's busy. It's very busy today. <laughs> it's, well, it, I think it's island time. Yeah. Like no one's in a hurry. No one's in a hurry. Um, so everyone's gone like 45 and a 60. It's kind of interesting. It's definitely not like the highways that we're used to. <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> Trick's disappointed because we didn't get Dunkin' Donuts because we waited too long and there was a giant line of people and we couldn't get in there. So. We didn't wait too long. We just went to the wrong location. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was like 20 cars in line. I really dislike McDonald's, but I really need to eat food because we haven't had Fine. any breakfast. That's way better than Dunkin' Donuts. What? No. Sausage with muffin. Egg muffin is just like the this. This? Yeah, standard. This is not better than Dunkin' Donuts. Selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking every vow. I can understand you're tired of this town And I'm not saying that we have to settle down now Just remember this 
We could have been starters, same world but without us. Something made us, made us find each other out there. Made us realize we're more than just starters. Ignore this fact if you must. To do what your dreams are telling you to do. And I'll be out there looking for someone like you. So sorry guys, it's super windy, but we just needed to Kualoa Branch. This is on the east side of Oahu. It's a 4,000 acre natural preserve. And at this location, they have filmed more than 200 television shows and movies at this location. And so we're gonna be taking an ATV tour. It's a two hour tour that's gonna take us all around this area and show us where they filmed all of these amazing movies and TV shows. And we're actually riding in ride vehicles called Raptors which is super fun. So we got to go get registered right now. We're at Kaloa Ranch. We were a little bit late, not late. We were 15 minutes early. They requested us to be here 45 minutes early. They actually just request that because like it's really slow getting on the backside of the island. So we actually ended up being here within plenty of time, which was nice. So we just did a uh, vehicle safety briefing and then we got to, I got to go pet some horses because they have horses here and then we're about ready to get on to our tour it is a guided tour which was different than I had expected it to be I actually thought that it was not so I must have booked the wrong tour you know typical me see let's see your outfit <laughs> wow so you have safety new safety glasses what are the safety glasses for keeping the dust and shit rest love that I love that you, he's got an Arcteryx jacket, which is very on brand, and an Arcteryx backpack. Very on trend for all the Jurassic World stuff we're doing. <laughs> it is raining, unfortunately. It's really not bad. It's like it's like misting. They said it will keep the dust down, which will be really nice. So, um, yeah, I think we're getting ready to load. So here we go. Confident are you in your Raptor driving skills? Highly confident. Yeah, I'm probably go 15 and stay the right distance away from other people. Wow. Fall out closely, but not too close. Mm -hmm. Got it all together. Super proud of you. Mm -hmm. Also, earlier, Jesse said, he goes, he goes, oh, I didn't know there were horses there. I would have rode horses. You. I'm terrified of horses, but they look nice. <laughs> it's because I was going over there and I was like petting them all because I love hor I love riding horses. I love horses in general. Oh, no, I was like, that seems nice. <laughs> So next time, and next time we come to Alani, we're definitely going to be riding those horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Still a little bit misty outside. Still really pretty though. It's kind of pretty with the mist. I like it. I love this. So us being late got us the back car, which is perfect. So now we'll be able to kind of like pan behind us and see things a little bit more clearly rather than being kind of in the middle of the pack. So there will be a guide behind us because they have two guides. One in the front, one in the back on ATVs, but we're in like an enclosed like Raptor vehicle. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face. I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right and Make up for what I've lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Valley? Is that what they called it? I can't remember now. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't remember now either. But anyway, it's about a big lizard. I'll insert the information. I tried to record some of the legend that she was talking about, um, but I'm not sure if it's going to actually pick up because this she was really quiet. Um, but we did get a really fun video where we were being chased by a dinosaur. Um, and in this valley, that's where they recorded a ton of movies. Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, uh, plus the movie Pearl Harbor. And they said that this is an extremely popular um, place for recording TV shows as well. So if I can find the TV shows that they've also done, I'll leave a whole list here down below. It's pretty interesting how many things have actually been filmed here, but it makes complete sense because this is such a beautiful, beautiful part of the island. It got a little rainy for a second. <laughs> it did. It was like raining sideways, like right into her face. I'm like, oh no, this is going to be a rough two hours. But it seemed to clear up, knock on wood. It just these huts are to show what traditional native Hawaiians used to live in back in the day. They aren't part of the movie set or anything. That's what they just told us. Pretty neat looking. So that bone graveyard is from Kong Skull Island. And that's one of Jesse's favorite rides. It's really good. If you haven't ridden that ride at Universal Studios, it's so good. I actually think I have some footage of it. I'll put um, like link up above and down below if you haven't seen it. It is like surprisingly a good ride. And the um, skull, like the, the monkey skull, that's this uh, similar one to what they have on the ride, which was really cool. And all of those were made out of styrofoam. So as we're driving here, there's tons of signs. There's been like Krippendorf's Tribe, 51st State, Joe Lost. Talkers, Triple Frontier, Mighty Joe Young, then there was Mike and Dave, uh, Mike and Dave get wedding dates as well. So many things have been filmed here, it's wild. Can you tell me ATV'd? Oh my god. I got a dirt mustache. <laughs> okay, let's talk about, what did you think about Kaloa Ranch? It was fun, it was really cool looking. It's, it's kind of beautiful there. Yeah. It's an actual working ranch, which was kind of neat. Yeah, we got to see cows and chickens mm -hmm. and things, and they got a bunch of fruits and vegetables and other stuff going there. We saw, um, I don't think I got any footage of it. I might have, but they had an oyster farm. Mm -hmm. So they had this whole like body of water with a bunch of oysters that they grow to like sell, which mm -hmm. is kind of interesting. Yeah, we thought there was going to be oysters at the food place, but there wasn't. So we left. It was just corn dogs and hot dogs and. <laughs> And burgers, so mm -hmm. we're gonna go back to Alani and um, have some lunch. But man, wash the dirt off my mustache. We need a shower, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it was supposed to be this was like way less um, dusty because it rained right when we first got on the tour. Yeah, um, otherwise, it would have been a dust ball. I, I thought it was really fun. Would you suggest it to other people? Yeah, to go? it was good. Yeah, especially if you haven't ridden a side by side before and be kind oh, of yeah. fun driving stuff you weren't used to it and yeah it was cool jesse was really good at driving he like avoided all of like the obstacles and everything and there was a guy driving in front of us that was just like pedal to the metal <laughs> right through the center of everything and jesse's all like careful and like driving all nice which i appreciated sensible driving thank you take care that. of the equipment you do you did mm -hmm. a really good job and there was like a boulder all of a sudden that like went slow motion through mm -hmm. our pathway just real just smooth. It. Real smooth. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I liked it. The thing I will say is what I what I thought was interesting was I didn't realize it was a guided tour, but it didn't feel too guided. It was like kind of following the leader, but we got to be in the car by ourselves, so I kind of appreciated that we weren't like fully integrated with a group the entire yeah, time. Yeah, you just stop and get out and talk mm -hmm. a little bit and tell stories and stuff. So. Yeah. I it like, was really cool. I think we're going to head back to Alani. We've got about a 45-minute drive ahead of us. Probably need a shower. Yeah, I do need to. For sure. <laughs> Jesus, can't believe how dirty we are. Okay. Okay. Break. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party at 
driving back from Kualoa Ranch and Jesse just hopped in the shower. His sunburn is really bad. So I think we're gonna try to go and see if we can find like some aloe lotion or something to help kind of soothe his sunburn because it's really bad. I don't know if he should even be in the sun at all. Um, we were going to go to the pool, but we may have to skip it. It just kind of depends on how he's feeling. I'm gonna see if they might have a UV shirt. That also might be something that he could wear in the water that would protect him from the sun. So um, we're gonna do that, but it is 3.01, which means it's pin trading hour. So they have like just a really like cute little pin board. It's nothing special, but it's still kind of a fun Disney thing to do. So we're gonna go downstairs and pin trade and then come back up and like change and, you know, get ready for the whatever the afternoon is going to hold for us. Uh, but that's kind of gonna depend on what's in the gift shop as far as like stuff that can help Jesse with this sunburn. So we'll kind of see what that looks like. And then obviously we'll update you guys, but we gotta go pin trade. It's very important. I brought my backpack. <laughs> ready to pin trade. Sugar, you ready to pin trade? Oh yeah, it's born ready. How's your sunburn? It's kind of hurting right now. Yeah. It's bothering me a little bit. I could feel it through my shirt when I was outside and the sun hitting my shirt and warm, so. Yeah, it's like peak sun time too, so we don't want him to go outside right now. So we're gonna try to find a good solution in the, I'm sure the gift shop's gonna have something. Some good cream or something. Trading yeah. was less successful than it was yesterday. Actually, it's not really been that great. Like, I don't want you guys to think it's been great. But we got two pins, let me see. Let me grab them. Got one of Ariel's sisters. Um, as the chaser pin and this actually looks like an authentic pin and I do not have the authentic um, sisters pin so this is actually kind of a really good find and then the other one we got were these 3d glasses that are like the Disney 3d glasses from the rides I thought those were kind of fun this one is also authentic so we are heading over actually we're gonna walk across the street because we went to the we went to two shops here they do not have any uv shirts above a, a an adult extra small which if you've ever seen us before we're not extra smalls that's just not a thing extra medium extra <laughs> what do you say extra medium extra medium <laughs> Jesse's an extra medium for sure. <laughs> so across the street is an ABC store. An ABC store is like a convenience store here in Hawaii. They're awesome. So we're going to go to the ABC store. And then also next door is Monkey Pod, which is a local restaurant that I heard is really amazing. And Jen LaForge, if you don't watch her, I'll link her uh, channel down below. She told me they have a happy hour. So we're going to go during happy hour, have a drink, get Jesse a shirt for UV protection. And then we're going to come back and ride in the lazy river. We made it to Monkey Pod Kitchen. This is just about a three to five minute walk from Milani. It's literally right across the street. I went to try to reserve a table at Monkey Pod and <laughs> We walk in and there's a guy playing live and he's playing Part of Your World, which was the best entrance to Monkey Pod. It's now my most favorite restaurant. So update, we went to Tommy Bahama and Jesse ended up being able to get a UV a UV long sleeve shirt. And it's got like a little zip up and it's supposed to be SPF 50, which is awesome. So um, it was a little bit expensive, but I kind of figured if we were gonna buy like a cheapy shirt from like the ABC store, then it probably would have been a one-time use. So I'm happy to spend a little bit more money so he can use it again, because Jesse's coming back to Hawaii and oh, yeah. like- Friends bachelor party is happening. Mm -hmm. yep. So he'll be back in January. So um, he's gonna need it then anyway, so. He'll be bringing that along with him in January. Hopefully, not get sunburned horribly again. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's called when doves cry. I can't remember what's in it. It's got mezcal in it, so that's why I got it. It looks
looks beautiful. It does. It's I like love that it's like it. got like this foam like dripping off the side of it. Yeah, so this was my time. <laughs> I've never seen a man like that. They made it differently, but it was the wrong drink. So I got my actual drink that I ordered right here. They were both good. Well, and I'm not a big Mai Tai fan, but I actually like this. So. Oh, well that's good. So she she made it the she made it good then. Yeah, well, that's good. But this is the wind does cry. This is the one that we actually ordered. It's got tequila. Yeah, it's got tequila. I was like the other one. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. The other one did not did not look like it had tequila in it. We decided to stop at Monkey Pod for happy hour. We learned disappointingly Lee, that none of the dishes actually contain any monkey or pods. This is the garlic truffle cilantro fries or something. They had uh, so, uh, truffles and uh, some kind of cheese and they were very rich and delicious and their homemade aioli and ketchup was delightful. The second dish we chose is the Kaluba pork and pineapple pizza. It's made with all fresh ingredients, roasted pineapple, jalapenos, which were not too hot, and macadamia nut pesto, which really tied the whole pizza together. It's got hella toppings on it, as you can see, and it was one of the most delicious pizzas I've had. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. These are lobster deviled eggs, which is simply a deviled egg with lobster on it. The lobster was really tasty, and I really enjoyed these. It was a fun new twist on deviled eggs. If you love lobster and deviled eggs as much as I do, then you can't afford to miss this appetizer. There's a chicken just came into the restaurant. <laughs> Next to Monkey Pod is black sheep cream co and these chickens and little chicks were trying to get inside. But we're going for some ice cream. Yeah, I'll do uh, yeah. color that, it is a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Can you show me more? Oh baby. Matcha with black sesame bread on it. Is it good? Yeah, it's different. It's good. Interesting. It's, like a, it's kind of a crazy flavor. It's kind of strong. So I don't know if you guys have been watching our vlog for very long, but Jesse, <laughs> we've been trying to get this man hand-dipped ice cream for the past two vacations, and we have just now been successful. So how does it feel to finally? It's pretty good. It's spilling all over me. I'm kind of mad. <laughs> We've ran into a wedding, guys, so oh, what a beautiful place to get married. But here's a stitch statue. So last night somebody had put a lay on him, and he is so cute. Okay, where's the lot? Seven minutes left of the Lazy River. Oh, it's a seven-minute relaxation Lazy River action. We're going to call it the Aggressive River, honestly, because that's not a lot of time. Um, hanging out at sunset at the beach here on Alani. Oh, and there he comes. <laughs> Can you guys see him? He's so, oh my gosh, guys, he is so sunburned. I feel so bad for him. So in case you guys are wondering, it's about 6 p.m. So this is what the private beach at Alani looks like around 6. The sun is setting and it's really not very busy. We really prefer being at the beach rather than at the pool just because it's more spread out and there's less people. The adults only hot tub was super duper busy at this time too, so it's nice to kind of opt to go to the beach. Really Sir, what are you drinking in the hot tub today? Uh, Honolulu Beer Company IPA. It's pretty good. Is it nice? I found that the rules are you can't have any food, any glass, or any animals. So I'm not allowed technically. But I can have drinks. Yeah, plastic. They didn't say anything about plastic. It's like food, plastic, glass. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. What we're all, we'll turn right. We just have to hold on through the night. As long as we are watching the fire. 
since we last checked in, we were going to Monkey Paw. Duh. Monkey Pod, yeah. Monkey Pod to have some dinner. Mm -hmm. And we found this shirt to protect me yes. from my sunburn. And then we since then went to Monkey Pod and then we went and we went in the adults only hot tub, mm -hmm. which is very fancy, with an infinity hot tub. And I swam out into the um, lagoon. The ocean back, swam again. Out into the ocean again. <laughs> In the nighttime, and then we had fun, hung out, and now we're back at the room. We went to Black Sheep Creamery. Yeah, oh, that was crazy. I got a. Uh, <laughs> what did you get? A matcha sesame bark. Matcha bark. sesame bark. It was good, but the ice cream was melt a little bit melty. And I walked outside with my double scoop ice cream cone, and it was like a freaking disaster. It was melting all over me, and it was windy, and it was in all oh my, my mustache. Oh my gosh. It, it was like just dripping, and it was like thick, thick, like cream. It was almost like Cool Whip or something. It was just freaking, it was all over everything. <laughs> I look over I Jesse's. I felt like a little kid. Jesse's got like ice cream all over his mustache, all down his shirt, on his pants. And I was like, oh my yeah. gosh. Like, what'd you do? I'm like, I can't help it. I'm trying. I had a whole pile of napkins, and it couldn't. <laughs> contain it. It was like dripping through the napkins and the wind was blowing it and if you tried to eat it it got on like it would stick everywhere and it was just a it was it tasted good but it was a freaking mess. I didn't care for it personally. It was too intense. I like ice cream generally speaking like vanilla ice cream. I got the brown sugar and cookie dough. It was just all around too rich too much for me. I just like plain simple yeah. ice cream. I'm just it, like a Breyer's vanilla bean ice cream gal. Like, I just don't like intense ice cream. It wasn't quite frozen enough. Or it, would have been, it would have been more manageable, but it was kind of, like, too soft. Yeah. So once you got outside, it just melted. Like it was, yeah. What was your favorite part of today? When we came home, and we were like, man, it's late, and it was 7.30 p.m. <laughs> I know. I walked in. I'm like, dude, it's 7.30. Jesse's like, what? <laughs> yeah, we, he did not believe me. I was like, we are on island time. Yeah, we are like, clearly on island time. We had a busy day. <laughs> we're like, kind of like, well, let's head back to the room. It's been a good day. And we're like, 7.30. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I'm excited yeah, to right. relax. We'll probably watch a movie or something like sit that. Sit on the deck and listen to an audio book. There you go. Do old man stuff. Yeah, old man stuff. I really, really enjoyed Kaloa Park. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, so it was pretty. It was just such a pretty place. I love, I love seeing where all these movies are filmed. I'm like, I love movies, and so it was really fun to see where everything's been filmed. Yeah, it's weird to like think that they make all those movies in one little area. Yeah, it's really not that big of a place. Yeah, it's not big at all. It's and like one little valley. Tons of films have been made there. It's pretty though. It's nice. Huh? It makes sense. It's very picturesque. Like they've got a they've got a good variety of like foliage in different places good that make it look like it's bigger than it is. I think. Yeah. But it's been great. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know um, what your favorite part was, or if you've been here, what you have done. And I think that's gonna do it for us, guys. You like it's been this video? a long day. It's been, it's been 7.30. It's been a long day. A long day. We've been doing. up for maybe 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe down below. Tomorrow we're going to have a really exciting character breakfast, which I am very excited so about. Exciting. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. I'm so excited. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm oh, like, my gosh. Wait, look at my hand. 